Aries, how are you guys doing? Thank you so much for joining me. right away with the ace of wands communication coming in about a new opportunity a new passion look at this page of pentacles this is a way to make money this is a way to make money this is something that you're really passionate about um feels like an opportunity that you're going to want to jump onto Maybe an opportunity that you feel like you've been cheated out of in the past. I just saw the Seven of Swords here. Four of Wands. Wow. This is going to bring you everything that you are wanting. It feels like you know. You know that this day is going to come. You also got this high priestess here. You know that this day is going to come that you have been working towards and that you're so passionate about and that you want so very, very much. This could be a relationship with marriage, but it feels like for most of you, it's communication that leads to some sort of... Um, business or some sort of passion that you're really wanting to develop here and it feels like you're going to be able to articulate things in a way that is very beneficial as well like you just have this way about you about being very charismatic if you feel like you haven't had that it's coming it's like you just know the right words to say to get some sort of an opportunity to work in your favor it's like a small event that happens and you see an opportunity and whereas before you may have not known the right thing to say or you did speak out before and it didn't pan out into anything now it's like you're going to be inspired to say something spirit is going to give you a download of what to say of what to communicate and it's going to turn this event into an opportunity this could even be something that you go to with friends it can be a wedding that you go to You know, it could even be someone proposing to you and then in the wedding planning and you know, all of that, this turns into another opportunity, but you know, it's going to be different for everybody, but I feel like for most of you, this is an event that you're going to go to where you're going to have an opportunity and spirit is like going to push you to make this decision to choose to go for this opportunity. Yeah, Three of Cups. You're going to be celebrating. And it could be at something that you are going to, to celebrate something else, you know? And you meet somebody there, or it's like an opportunity presents itself there. You have the Knight of Wands and the Moon. So it seems like something you're just going to one time, it's going to be fun and that's it. And then you're going to keep moving on, but it's not. It's not. This could also be for you guys that you meet a person that you think, oh yeah, what a nice little interaction or whatever, but it's not. They play a bigger role in your life. Oh, this was a nice little get together or whatever. I'm glad we came, blah, blah, blah. No. There's more going on here. A 
there's more going on here than what you think. And it's going to be quick with this tower. It's going to be quick, but it's going to be something that you can build with. And so you have justice at the bottom of the deck. That's, she is holding the Ace of Swords. So this is just confirmation that you're going to know what to say. You're going to know what to say. You're going to know what to do. I have the Eight of Cups. Time has come to walk away from something. Got the Lovers at the bottom of the deck and then the Chariot. You know, with the chariot and you just had the moon card, this could have to do with the cancer person. Could be a Gemini. Um, you have Pisces energy here. You have Leo energy here. Don't hold too tightly to the signs, right? Anybody can be in any energy at any time. But there's something that's just not fulfilling you anymore. And the time has come with the three of wands. The time has come for you to pour in your own inner strength and you know, look and look at your real emotions. Look at how you do really feel about something. But some of you are going to be moving towards something that would bring more alignment, moving towards love. So you can say are you in a situation now where it's like you're waking up in a nightmare? Waking up in a nightmare. Wake up in a nightmare. This is saying that you're going to realize that a change is needed and you're going to take that opportunity and go for the change. If you have already taken the opportunity, it's saying it's not going to be much longer. Before this is coming in, the chariot is the fastest card in the deck. You have the eight of wands as well. So that's also very fast moving energy. So you have cards of movement here. Eight of cups is a card of movement. You're on the move. If you feel like you need, it's time for you to move forward onto something else. If you feel like you're settling, spirit is saying we have your back on this. You're going to be able to do it. If you have already moved away from something and you're kind of waiting, like when is this going to come around already? Oh, it's coming. It's coming. And it's going to be really good too. Let's see about this lovers. But yeah, you have this nine of swords card here. There's a decision that you feels like you could be in agony over. A situation you're in agony over. Let's see about this lovers card. You have the Nine of Wands. And the Five of Wands. And the Empress. You know, and this, this Four of Wands card popped out again. Okay, okay. This Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands is a person, you know, they ride their horse over here and they, you know, they get to know everybody in town and then they get on that horse and they're gone. They're to the next town. You know, they're over here. They're over there. They're rushing over here. There is no commitment. There is no thinking things through. It's very fiery passion rushing in. And things happen very quickly, but they also rush out very quickly. So if you have had a person around you, if your love life has been that for quite some time, this is letting you know a change is here because you're the empress. This could also be um, a Taurus person coming in for you. doesn't have to be. But it's definitely saying that 
a change is on the horizon here for you. Hermit car could be a Virgo. You have this three of swords. Someone that has known heart heartbreak themselves. Look at the star card at the bottom. So going in, taking this time for to use this introspection, right? And to follow this lantern. That's what he's doing. In the lantern here, he has the star card. Okay, the, the star. Okay. So the hermit went within. And now he is following the star. So he is following hopes and dreams that are above, right? like the star, that are out of this world, that would be miracles. You know, this universe is ever expanding. And when you believe that you are worthy of everything, you are worthy of everything. You are worthy of your wildest dreams. So this is a card of getting in touch with your inner self and knowing that you are this universe and this universe is you and there's nothing that you can not be or do or have. And you're following that. You're following that just like he's following this lantern, right? And you're moving right out of this heartache into this star, not being in that lantern anymore, but being here on this 3D earth. You followed it and you got it. Feels like it has been some time since something like that has happened to you. It has been kind of a lot of disappointment. It has been a lot of looking back and a lot of having to let people go, how having to leave people behind with this tower card it has just been, you know, you build something up and it just falls and it falls and it falls and it falls and people's crowns are falling off. And it's like, can I get a person that has a crown for real? And you have this page of wands. So Taking this adventure, seeing this as an opportunity for adventure. And this is how you become victorious. This is how you end that cycle of heartache with the world card here. Okay. You're doing that. You're already doing it. Could be an Aquarius person also coming in. Doesn't have to be. Whoa, Page of Pentacles. We already got the Page of Pentacles. Now we got him again. What are you about now? Let's see. Oh, Two of Cups. Somebody wants to connect with you. Somebody wants a partnership with you. Someone sees you as somebody worthy of sharing their cup with. Somebody sees you as somebody who brings something valuable to the table. This is a card of somebody who sees who you really are. Three of Cups. This is somebody who wants to celebrate with you. Look at this. You have this King of Pentacles. Could be a Taurus, really. Virgo Cap. You have Virgo twice, you have Taurus twice. Look, High Priestess here. Okay, so this is telling me that you know, you know somebody that you think you could have everything with. So this is kind of giving me vibes of there's a one that got away, somebody that got away. And you went through a very difficult time and you healed yourself and blah, blah, blah. Great for you. Not trying to downplay it by saying blah, blah, blah. But I'm just saying, there's a person that got away. And you, it's like, it feels like you want them to come back around. You have options. You have options. And they have options. But guess what? Knight of Pentacles and then the Queen of Pentacles. They're choosing you. King and Queen of Pentacles coming out together. Come on, this is beautiful. Beautiful. This is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Doesn't have to be, for sure. Okay. 
but it's an opportunity for something really beautiful here. Oh. For a freaking month. Could be a person you're going to marry, especially got the Wheel of Fortune on here. This could be destiny. It's definitely things changing for the better. So if you're still back in that stage of the Nine of Swords right now, you're not going to stay there. You can do it. Keep pushing through. Keep pushing through. Look within. Okay? Find the star in your heart. You can find it. Follow it. It's going to be your reality soon. And everything is going to fall into place. Spirit and destiny are coming into play here. So if you feel like some you've had some abrupt endings, an abrupt ending, it's just kind of like the lights being switched off. You know, the power all of a sudden goes out and there's nowhere you can go with any kind of power. It's like, wow. <laughs> you know, and then finally you get power back and then it happens again. And it's like, or it's not going to be that way anymore. And it was that way before because it needed to be. And you can figure out why it needed to be. You can go within. You can do that introspection. And you can see, hey, was I giving to situations that weren't giving back to me? Was I really believing my own worth, my own worthiness? Was I really living as unconditional love? Did I really believe in my dreams that I'm worthy of my dreams? Or did I not? So then all the things that I was attracting is not really good enough. You know? And now you're believing. You're doing the work. You're believing in yourself. And now that's why you're getting this. Okay. Queen of Wands. I feel like this is like a backstabbing person. Who is this? Could be another fire sign. Leo, another Aries or Sag. But they are just, you know, this is the lying, stealing, cheating card. They're around you in some capacity. You know them in some capacity. And it even feels like they have gotten a blessing recently. You know, they got something they wanted recently. But they still want to make sure you don't get anything. This fool card. They don't want you to be carefree out here, Aries. They don't, they don't want you to have this clarity. You got the Nine of Swords card. It feels like something's... They have harsh words to be said to you. They have harsh words that they want to say to you. But it feels like it might be done behind your back because it's like, this is your card here. And you see how you're not facing them? This person, it's like, you know, Queen of Swords. Look at all this sword energy coming out from this person. It could even be like a couple people, honestly, that are just jealous of the way that you shine. And they just don't want it. And it's kind of like they almost want to blame you, but I feel like somebody else gives you a, is giving you attention and they don't like that and they blame you for it. But I feel like you don't even want this person's attention. Like, even somebody is just being very, you know, 
the creepy energy from this card. Like someone is just like trying to get your attention and they're giving you a lot of attention and you're just like, yeah, whatever. Facing the other way, like you don't even see this person and you're just going out here on your merry way being free and this other person wants this person and so they're angry with you and you're like, look, I'm not even trying to get their attention. I don't want anything to do with this person. Feels like you're caught in a love triangle you don't want to be in. But definitely feels like people who know each other. And you're just not wanting any of it. And they are just not wanting good things from you. They're trying to find ways that they can steal things from you or that they can manipulate you into being in their life, right? Definitely feels like a lot of that going on. But I feel like you are just kind of protecting yourself at this time. You're protecting your energy because you want to manifest. So you're just kind of like, this could feel a workplace situation. It could be people in your friend group. It could just be people that you run into and you know in some capacity, you know, I don't know. But also this could be a Virgo person that's spying on you that wants more information. This is like the spy card. Somebody is holding back, but at the same time, they want to manifest this coming together and they're spying on you at the same time. So it's like you have a lot of energy around you of people who are doing too many things at once and they're one way when you're not there and they're one way when you're there. It's like this person, when you see them, they're holding back. This is a different energy than the other two. This person, when you see them, they're holding back. But then when they're on their own, they're manifesting you to come back in. And they're trying to spy and gather as much information as they can. What? You know? It's a little... Yeah. You, you don't care. you like... I stopped caring what people thought about me a long time ago. So, yeah. They can't touch you. They can't touch you with that card. Um, and also feels like you are protected. You may even be protected by spirit at this time. Um, by your ancestors for sure. By loved ones that have passed on for sure. By whatever it is that you identify with and that you pray to, communicate to, believe in. You know, this could be source. This could be Gaia. This could be angels. It could be fairies. It could be anything. Right? The devil here. Look at this. Oh, yeah. But you have the Ten of Pentacles. So, you're protected. You're not, your life, this card represents everything. Everything going well in every possible way, right? This is a card of a beautiful family. This is a card of a beautiful, loving relationship. This is a part, card of wealth. This is a card of abundance. This is a card of loyalty. This is a card of being able to trust. Okay? So this energy present around you is not, it just can't come through. Can't, can't, can't. No way. Could be a Capricorn person, but it doesn't have to be. Oh, Scorpio too. Definitely could be Scorpio. Okay, we have King of Cups. You are you ha are gaining this ability to it's like emotions are coming up and you're kind of mastering them here in a way that you haven't before you may also have a person come into your life that has a lot of emotional maturity and emotionally they're just very stable and that feels very calming to you it's kind of like no matter what comes, they make themselves in a way that they can just handle it and it just looks so easy, you know? It's, I just feel like a very comforting energy from a person coming in, a new person coming into your life that it feels like they could just be a mentor. They, I mean, it could be someone that you have something romantic with, but Regardless, there will be a connection of a deep friendship and somebody that you can really rely on and it feels like their energy is going to be very calming for you. 
Okay. Hier kann ich kurz. The justice. Yeah, because maybe you've had people in the past that are they're a little this way, they're a little that way. They're juggling a lot of different things. And it's like you deserve someone who their priority is you. And that's what's coming to you now. Yeah. This is news. These are both cards of news. Being known. Being told. So you're going to hear a lot of people that tell you. That tell you how much they appreciate you. That tell you with words and it shows you that they are there for you, shows you that they are genuine people. It's like on this side, you just have this card, but then it's like being blocked. And then now for your future, you have all these cards of like beautiful communication and people that are wanting to tell you how they really, really feel about you and how they really feels like a lot of people are just going to come forward and have very nice things to say about you, compliment you in a really good way. It's like you're getting public recognition for your soul, just like having this good soul that you have. It feels like it's going to bring a lot of emotional fulfillment for you with this Queen of Cups card. And it's so interesting how we have the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. How beautiful is that? We have Ace of Cups up here. This could also be a love situation for you if you're looking for love. If you're looking for a balanced love situation, look at all these cups. This is a balanced love situation. This is something that you have been wanting for quite some time. It's something that you deserve. Ace of Pentacles. The Emperor and the Three of Wands. So now is a time if you are wanting to make a move. Aries, look at you standing in your energy. Look at yourself. Just look at you. <laughs> it's like if you have been wanting this opportunity, if you're waiting for the right moment to move forward with something, it's like there's something that you're waiting for. You're waiting for because you need this in order to do that you may need approval this could be news of approval from like the city or news of a, approval from a organization that you need approval from or approval from a school something that you have to pass or like a certificate that you have to get or approval from a job to move to a higher position or like there's something about waiting on news to make something legal or legit or something like that and then it's like everything kind of is coming together and now is the time but it feels like it's been quite a time longer than it should have longer than you thought it was going to be for this to come together yeah but it is coming together and you're going to be very 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 successful here very successful this is like Financial prosperity, other people seeing your financial prosperity. Other people speaking uh, how wonderful it is that you really, really are. And it's going to make you, like, you're going to have some moments of self-reflection where you're like, man, when I was out there and I was working so hard in the cold, I didn't have anybody helping me. I didn't have anything. And I didn't know what I was going to be doing, you know. I didn't know what was going to happen, but I just didn't give up. I just didn't give up. I just didn't give up. And look, this is the Six of Cups. This is a card of being nostalgic. But it's kind of like you're looking at from a place of like, man, look at me. I didn't give up. And I made it here. And then I made it here. And then this happened, but I still got up. And then this happened, and I got up again. You know, it's a card. It's like being proud of your journey. And now saying, I used to be the beggars, and now I'm the one that's able to hand out money. That's a very different feeling here. You moved out of turbulent waters, and you moved to peaceful waters. And it wasn't easy 
It takes a lot of strength to get into that boat and to leave everything behind and go out into the unknown. But you did it into the unknown. Look at this um, full moon card here. The moon card here. You know, this little guy going on this journey, he doesn't know. Am I going to make it? Are these creatures here going to eat me? This dog and this coyote, are they going to eat me? I don't know. You know, what's over here? What's up with these towers? Going to be some laser beams and it's going to like fry me to death. You know, am I going to make it to the sun? I don't know. <laughs> it's scary. And you did that work. And now look, you reached the sun, which is the happiest card of the deck, which is the card of celebration, which is the card of blessings, joy, happiness, which is the card of illumination. Are you going to reach the sun? That's the question here. The sun is off here in the distance and is he going to reach the sun yes you do reach the sun wow that's so beautiful aries i feel like seeing a horse horse if you see a horse especially a white horse that is a sign for you a sign for you that you're on the right path spirit wants you to know that also if you're seeing the number 777 that is a sign for you that you're on the right path keep going keep moving forward you're about to receive this prosperity, okay? You're about to receive this love that you have been hoping so, so, so much for. Let me get a charm for you. Wow. Your charm is a dragonfly. Can you see the dragonfly? Yeah, it's a dragonfly. So... Dragonflies symbolize social and emotional maturity. And isn't that so interesting? Because you have this King of Cups representing that so, so strongly that came through for that King of Cups. And th this balance bringing you so much comfort. So the reason you are attracting in this King, male or female, does not matter. With balanced emotional maturity is because you are vibing at this balanced emotional mature place right and so now that's why you are attracting somebody who also displays that quality and this unconditional love that you have for yourself you're attracting someone who also has that for themselves and so you can share that unconditional love between the two of you can build and blossom and grow to something really beautiful okay so thank you so much, Aries, and I hope I see you next time.